For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to solve rational equations and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, we have 2 over x minus 3 over 2x equals 1 over 5. So the first step that we're going to do is to eliminate the denominators by multiplying each term of the equation by the least common multiples or the least common denominator. So the LCM of x and 2x, that is 2x. And the LCM of 2x and 5, that is 10x. So that's how you find the LCM of x, 2x, and 5. If you find any difficulty in finding the LCM, all you have to do is to multiply all the denominators. And that's how you find the LCM. So let us multiply the whole equation by the LCM, which is 10x. So let us have 2 multiplied by 10x over x minus 3 times 10x all over 2x equals 1 times 10x over 5. So we can cancel x and we are going to have 2 multiplied by 10, that is 20. So let us cancel x. Negative 3 times 10, that is negative 30, divided by 2. And then 1 multiplied by 10x, that is 10x over 5. So let us simplify. Let us write 20. Negative 30 divided by 2, that's negative 15. Equals 10x divided by 5, that is 2x. So let us subtract this one. 20 minus 15, that is 5, equals 2x. Let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So the value of x is 5 over and this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have x over 5 plus 1 over 4 equals x over 2. Just like an example number 1, let us eliminate first the denominators by multiplying each term of the equation by the least common denominators. So the LCM of 4, 5, and 2, that is 20. So let us multiply the whole equation by 20. So x multiplied by 20, that is 20x over 5 and then 1 multiplied by 20 that's 20 and then let us write 4 and then x times 20 that is 20x over 2 so let us simplify 20x divided by 5 that's 4x and 20 divided by 4 that's 5 and 20x divided by 2 that is 10x so let us move 4x on the side of 10x it will give us 5 equals 10x minus 4x. So let us have 5 equals 10x minus 4x, that is 6x. So let us divide the whole equation by 6. Let us cancel this one. So the value of x, that is 5 over 6. And this will be our answer. Example number 3, we have 1 over 4 equals 3 over x minus 1 half. As you can see, we have 4, x, and 2 as our denominator. So let us multiply the whole equation by the least common multiples of the denominator. So let us have 4x as the LCD or LCM of the denominators. So 4x multiplied by 1, that is 4x, divided by 4, equals 3 times 4x, that is 12x, over x. And then... 1 times 4x, that is 4x over 2. So we have 4 divided by 4, that is 1, or simply x. And then let us cancel this one. That is 12 minus 4 divided by 2, that is 2. And then we have x. So let us move negative 2x on the side of x. It will give us x plus 2x equals 12. x plus 2x, that is 3x equals 12. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So x is 12 divided by 3, that is 4. And this will be our answer. Example number 4, we have y plus 3 all over y minus 1 equals 4 over y minus 1. As you can see, we have the same denominator. All we have to do to eliminate the denominator is to multiply the whole equation by y minus 1 because y minus 1 that is the lcm of the denominators so let us have y plus 3 multiply by y minus 1 
all over y minus 1 equals 4 times y minus 1 all over y minus 1. So let us cancel this one. It will give us y plus 3 equals 4. Let us move 3 on the side of 4. It will give us y equals 4 minus 3. And the value of y that is 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have 3 multiplied by y plus 3 all over y plus 1 plus 2 equals 3y plus 1 all over y plus 1. Just like in example number 4, we have the same denominator. And to eliminate the denominators, let us multiply the whole equation by y plus 1. So let us have 3 times y plus 3 multiplied by y plus 1 all over y plus 1 and then 2 times y plus 1 equals 3y plus 1 times y plus 1 all over y plus 1. So let us cancel this one. It will give us 3 times y plus 3 plus 2 times y plus 1 equals 3y plus 1. So let us have 3 times y that is 3y and 3 times 3 that is 9 plus 2 times y, that is 2y, and then 2 times 1, that is 2, equals 3y plus 1. So let us combine like terms. 3y plus 2y, that is 5y. And then 9 plus 2, that is 11, equals 3y plus 1. So let us move 11 on the side of 1, and let us move 3y on the side of 5y. So this will be... 5y minus 3y equals 1 minus 11. And to simplify, 5y minus 3y, that is 2y, equals 1 minus 11, that's negative 10. So let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So the value of y, that is negative 10 over 2, that's negative 5. And this will be our answer. In example number 6, we have 4x plus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 3 equals 12 over x squared minus 1. So how can we find the LCM of x plus 1 and x squared minus 1? And how can we eliminate the denominators in the given equation? We all know that x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 times x minus 1. So the LCM of x plus 1 and x squared minus 1, that is x squared minus 1. So let us multiply the whole equation by x squared minus 1. So let us have 4x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 3 times x squared minus 1 equals 12 times x squared minus 1 all over x squared minus 1. x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we can cancel x plus 1. It will give us 4x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. And then negative 3 times x squared, that is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. And we can cancel this one, that is 12. So let us use FOIL method, 4x times x, that is 4x squared. 4x multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 4x. 1 times x, that is x. 1 multiplied by negative 1, that's negative 1. Let us rewrite this one. So let us combine like terms, 4x squared minus 3x squared, that is x squared. And negative 4x plus x, that is negative 3x. Negative 1 plus 3, that is positive 2, equals 12. So let us move 12 on the other side of the equation. It will give us x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 12 equals 0. And to simplify, let us have x squared minus 3x. 2 minus 12, that's negative 10, equals 0. So let us write here. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 10. And if we add, we can get negative 3. 
that is negative 5 and positive 2. So let us equate to 0, that is x minus 5 equal to 0, x plus 2 equals to 0. So let us move this one on the other side. So x is positive 5 and x is negative 2. And this will be our answer. On the last example, we have x over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals 8 over x squared minus 4. So how can we find the LCM of x plus 2, x minus 2, and x squared minus 4? And how can we eliminate the denominators in the given equation? Since x squared minus 4, that is x plus 2, times x minus 2. Therefore, the LCM of x plus 2, x minus 2, and x squared minus 4, that is x squared minus 4. So let us multiply the whole equation by the LCM, which is x squared minus 4. So let us have x times x squared minus 4 all over x plus 2 minus 1 times x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 equals 8 times x squared minus 4 all over x squared minus 4. Since x squared minus 4, that is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So let us write on the other side. We can cancel x plus 2. It will give us x times x minus 2. And then minus 1. We can cancel x minus 2. We are going to have x plus 2. So we can cancel this one. That is 8. And then x multiplied by x, that is x squared. x multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2x. Negative 1 times x, that is negative x. And negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2 equals 8. So let us combine like terms. This will be x squared. Negative 2x minus x, that is negative 3x, minus 2 equals 8. So let us move 8 on the other side of the equation. This will be x squared minus 3x minus 2 minus 8 equals 0. So x squared minus 3x, negative 2 minus 8, that is negative 10 equals 0. So let us rewrite this one x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So let us find the factors of this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 10. And if we add, we can get negative 3. That is negative 5 and positive 2. So let us equate to 0. So let us have x minus 5 equal to 0. x plus 2 equal to 0. So let us move this one on the other side. It will give us x equals positive 5 and x equals negative 2. Since we have two values of x, that is 5 and negative 2, but negative 2, if you are going to substitute this one on the original equation, it will give us undefined on this part. Therefore, the only solution is x equals 5 and this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.